Hey Lash Lovers, my name is Asako and welcome to our Divine Lashes V Blog. On this channel, we'll be answering popular questions regarding eyelash extensions and lash lifts. So if you're interested in lash enhancements or addicted to lashes, I would highly recommend for you to click on the subscribe button because we are planning to upload more videos like this one. So for today's question, have you ever gotten lash extensions to open your eyes to find that they're bloodshot red? Well, in today's video, we'll be exploring some of the reasons why this could happen and how to, to treat those bloodshot red eyes. So why do some people get bloodshot red eyes after getting lash extensions? So in my experience, there are two main reasons why. Either the client is sensitive to the fumes produced by the adhesive. Bloodshot eyes can also be apparent when the client is experiencing an allergic reaction to the adhesive. Red eyes from sensitivity to the formaldehyde fumes typically disappears after two to three days after the application. Well, an allergic reaction would require a full removal of eyelash extensions. So what are bloodshot eyes and what do they look like? A bloodshot eye is a condition where the white part of the eye, also called the sclera, has become reddened or bloodshot. A bloodshot eye is a result of broken blood vessels on the eye itself. Imagine tiny hemorrhages under the conjunctiva, which is the clear membrane that covers the white part of the eye and lines the inside of your eyelids. A symptom of a bloodshot eye from eyelash extensions may include a gritty feeling in the eye, redness, soreness or swelling, or irritation. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, there are two main reasons why some people experience bloodshot eyes after getting lash extensions. Either sensitivity to the formaldehyde fumes or chemical burn, or they're experiencing an allergic reaction. So now let's explore the difference between the two. So you can be asking yourself the question, how do I tell the difference? Well, let's break down the two scenarios. When we apply eyelash extensions, we use a special adhesive formulated to use around the eye. And the key ingredient in this adhesive is called cyanoacrylate, which is an acrylic resin. So when the cyanoacrylate based adhesive comes in contact with moisture, it creates a byproduct called formaldehyde. Since cyanoacrylate cures or dries with the ambient moisture present in the air, when the client's eyes are slightly opened, it draws the moisture from the eye itself to cure, which is why some clients experience redness from dryness produced by the adhesive. Another cause of the chemical burn could be when the adhesive itself is dropped into the eye, which is quite rare if you go to a certified technician. So unlike an allergic reaction, a chemical burn isn't accompanied by swelling. So at Divine Lashes, we make sure that the client's eyes are completely closed during the application process to prevent this from happening. I would also recommend for you to allow your lash artist to really focus on her work rather than having a conversation with them. Because oftentimes when the clients are having a conversation, they tend to blink or open their eyes slightly. So now let's talk about an allergic reaction. So an allergic reaction to the glue can also present itself as bloodshot red eyes in some clients. And again, allergic reaction is really no one's fault. And this symptom can differ from person to person. A swelling can occur when there is an infection or an allergic reaction to the adhesive used uh, for eyelash extensions. If you notice any swelling or soreness around the eye almost immediately after the application, I would definitely recommend for you to ask your eyelash artist to remove the eyelash extensions immediately and contact a medical professional if the swelling or soreness does not subside. So now let's talk about some other causes of bloodshot eyes when getting eyelash extension treatments. Another reason could be poor application and poor use of equipment. So every eyelash professional was once a beginner. So here are some common mistakes that new lash artists make which could cause red eyes for the clients. When we apply eyelash extensions, we use very sharp tweezers. And if they're not used correctly, they could accidentally poke into the client's eye. We also use gel pads and tape to secure the lower lashes. And if these gel pads and tape is not placed properly on the eye, it could also cause corneal abrasion. And if the lash artist didn't invest in good quality products and using a low grade adhesive, it could produce higher formaldehyde fumes, exposing the eye to more irritants. Or if the eyelash artist drops eyelash extensions uh, into the eye, it could also lead to corneal abrasion. Another reason could be poor hygiene of the lash tech. 
just as you wouldn't get surgery from an unlicensed doctor. Qualification of the lashed artist matters a lot when it comes to working around a sensitive organ like the eye. For starters, the lack of disinfection of equipment between clients can also lead to bloodshot eyes. It can happen due to bacteria being exposed to your eye because the instruments or equipment is not properly disinfected. It could also be caused by poor aftercare on the client's end as well. So for example, if your bloodshot red eyes becomes more apparent after a few days after the application, it could be due to inadequate aftercare. You should be cleaning your eyelashes at least once a day to make sure that the lash line stays clean and hygienic. Poor aftercare can lead to allergic blepharitis. This is when the skin around your eye sheds more than usual with the symptom of bloodshot eyes with reddish skin around the eyelids. The client can also have hypersensitive eyes. When the clients are genetically predisposed to extreme sensitivity to chemicals or equipment used for eyelash extensions. As a result, they may experience deep red eyes immediately after a long session of eyelash extension application. An added symptom may be reddened skin where the eye patches and tape were placed. And in such cases like this, the redness would subside within hours after the application. And finally, another reason could be contact lens acute red eye or CLAIR for short. Another thing I ask my clients to do when they come in for their lash extension appointment is to remove their contacts altogether during the appointment, just because of this reason. Contact lens acute red eye can make your eyes red when you keep them close for long durations while wearing contact lenses. Other signs of flare to watch out for are redness, pain, and sensitivity to light. So how long does it take for the redness to go away after getting eyelash extensions? Bloodshot red eyes may last up to one day and others up to two to four days. The length of the bloodshot eyes also depends on what the cause was as well. For instance, the redness can go away within a day if it was caused by a poking gel pad or tape. And at the same time, if the client had experienced severe allergic reaction, it could take many more days for the redness to subside. And suppose your red eyes hasn't subsided within a day, it might be wise to have your eyelash extensions removed, as that may stop the cause of the red eyes in the first place. And at this point, you might want to seek a medical professional. So here are some things to try to treat your bloodshot red eyes. So number one, you can try using eye drops. This is a quick and simple way to bring hydration and moisture back into your eye. You can also try using a cold or hot compress. You can apply on the eyelid itself for about 10 minutes each session. And this is an excellent way to relieve redness. You can also try taking oral antihistamines. This is a quick way to relieve symptoms of an allergic reaction. You can try also hydrocortisone creams. Topical ointments like hydrocortisone cream is great for bringing down the inflammation that accompanies red eyes. You can also try using tea bags. Besides soothing discomfort that appear with bloodshot eyes, tea bags can also cope with the pain. You can also try taking Benadryl. Whether you have hypersensitive eyes or reaction to the adhesive fumes, Benadryl can ease red eyes, irritation, and swelling. And finally, you can try witch hazel. This is an excellent home remedy to reduce constrictions around the blood vessels of your eye. You can apply this using a lint-free applicator. So is there any way to avoid getting bloodshot eyes from getting eyelash extensions? The best way to avoid getting bloodshot eyes is to make sure you have open communication with your lash artist. For example, if you experience any discomfort during the appointment, for example, if it's a bad gel or tape placement, let the lash artist know so that she can readjust it for you right away. And if you already know that you're hypersensitive, you can also let your artist know beforehand so that she can prepare for you a more sensitive adhesive for the application. And at Divine Lashes, what we do for our sensitive clients is we use a very sensitive adhesive. We rinse the client's eyelashes using saline instead of using a primer. We also use a fan around the eye periodically during the appointment to make sure that the work area is well ventilated. So bloodshot eyes can happen due to things ranging from 
sensitivity to formaldehyde fumes, wearing contact lenses, poor hygiene, inadequate aftercare, hypersensitivity, poor application, or even an allergic reaction to the adhesive. So both eyelash extension artists and the clients must recognize the cause of the red eyes to find the suitable solution. So as I explained earlier in the video, there are two most likely reasons why bloodshot eyes happens after getting eyelash extensions. So it could be either a sensitivity to the adhesive or chemical burn, or the client is experiencing an allergic reaction to the adhesive itself. If the client is experiencing a sensitivity to the adhesive, the client should start feeling better hours after the application as you bring back moisture into the eye. So you can do this by using eye drops to bring moisture back into the eye. However, if your red eyes is accompanied by swelling and it doesn't get better over time, then it is recommended to have your eyelash extensions removed completely and seek a medical professional if the swelling or redness does not resolve itself within hours or days after having them removed. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something about eyelash extensions. And if you have a burning question that you'd like to ask, you're welcome to leave a comment and we would be happy to answer any questions you may have about eyelash extensions or lash lift. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.